Um, I am at Gettysburg. Um, I am in Gettysburg, um, Pennsylvania. And I'm watching the sunset right now. I don't know if you guys can see it. Very good. Oh. I'm at Little Round Top. Look at that rays. It's so beautiful. The whole, the whole thing. But this is my favorite part. Watching the sunset. You have to. This is a must see on your bucket list, Nat. So if you see that the sun is literally going, that's in front of the, a tip, I don't, I can't even tell. Looks like a castle in the sky, doesn't it? What it's in front of, or behind, I mean. Doesn't that look like a castle? Hmm? It does, right? <laughs> Isn't that cool? Hold on. Oh, now I can't, now I'm like, hold on. Oops, sorry. Oh, why is it messing up? It's almost gone. And there it goes. Go 
goes down so fast. So awesome. I'm glad you saw that castle net. <laughs> there it is. Still beautiful. That was cool. It really looked like a legit castle. Nature, yep, nature and the landscape here. Oh. Mm. Yes, I know. Totally did. Yes. I hope I got a good picture of it. There's Devil's Den. That there is Triangular Field. Everybody's just mesmerized. It's almost like everybody's just like sitting still. There's more people over there. On that note, perfect weather. I could fall asleep in three seconds. It's so perfect. You know I love sharing my Gettysburg. so funny all the people that are just me just mesmerized uh-huh I totally do
shit. I know, I'm like, I'm gonna kill myself, I'm gonna kill myself and fall off of here. <laughs> no, <laughs> definitely not. Yes, Darren. Oh my God, if one of those things attacks me. Can you guys hear those quesadillas? Oh, brutal. It's so beautiful, Darren. Have you ever been here? You'll have to go back and watch the sunset. That's what I was videoing, <laughs> the sun setting. And then there's one more spot. Good, I'm glad. Do they go away at nighttime? <laughs> There's so many spots up here. But, let's see. I hope there's not anybody over here. Oh, thanks, Zhang. Thank you. Say hi to your son for me. What's his name? So you can sit here on the, on the monument, you can just sit here. Oh, Greg, you are trying to freak me out. <laughs> Forgive me if I if I say this wrong, but is it Eliza? Am I saying that right? You have to come if you if you're coming from a far away. Like if you're coming from like um, Nat, she's in Oregon, and uh, Darren, you're in Wisconsin. You have to make it either like a like give yourself three or four days because you'll need it. 
when you can come, like I'm literally coming every weekend in the month of June. When you can do that, you can always just come for like, you know, a couple of days or whatever, but if you're coming from like far away where you have to fly and do all kinds of stuff to get here, actually, make sure you give yourself plenty of time. And if you ever need a tour guide, let me know. <laughs> I'm your gal. <laughs> I love taking virgins to uh, Gettys. Let me rephrase that. I love introducing Gettysburg to Gettysburg virgins, should I say. I totally would uh, be your tour guide. I would take you guys around. <laughs> I started to say I love taking virgins to Gettysburg, but that was going to come out wrong. <laughs> These people are like, who the fuck is she talking to? <laughs> to my peeps. So there's one more place I'm gonna go. See that castle? Oh, oh Nat. Maybe it was a reflection of the castle. <laughs> this one. <laughs> I just thought about that. Oh my gosh. Tell me people make fun of you because you believe in the paranormal. That's like, it's insane. I have not, I have not watched the new Conjuring movie yet. Did you guys see it? Was it good? It looks scary as shit. So this is the part where it starts to get really cool because it is um, getting dark and being in, yes, hi pretty flag, hi Daryl, thanks for joining, thank you, what's up to Wolf Whisper Paranormal? I am going to drive through the park before I leave. I mean, tonight. Wow. Well, it's always good to have a healthy skepticism. But... I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Of course there's going to be another one. This is so awesome.
So I don't know if you guys saw the picture I put up, but did you see the picture with uh, Andrea Peron? She's here. She's awesome. It was an awesome sunset. Oh, I love it. So Andrea Perron was the, one of the children that lived in the, in the house that the movie was about. And I'm at um, Phenomenology, and she is one of the guests here. And um, she's awesome. She's an awesome person to talk to. Let me see if I can, I can't. I was gonna try to share the picture in the chat, but it's not letting me, I don't know how this thing works. Oh, love it, I don't wanna leave. <laughs> All right, here we go. I don't know if you guys can see this, but can you see what that says? Um, Colonel Vincent Strong was um, shot right here and fell here. just inside this rock uh, or they etched it on the rock I don't know why they did it this way instead of putting like a little <sighs> I will watch it Darren for sure yeah oh yeah I don't want to go that way I have flip-flops on my um hair clip became um, part of the part of the battle because it fell and it fell in the brush and I have flip-flops on I can't go get it so it will forever be a part of little round top yeah I'm not sure why they just etched it into the rock but they did they should put a plaque I think I gotta watch on the ground because I don't want to step on any big bugs. <laughs> mm, it is so nice out right now. Thank you, Darren. Thanks for stopping by. So right now, no, you will have to wear, um, it depends on when you come. So you will have to use or wear like off, but right now it's that weird case did thing where there, like, there's like so many, it happens like every seven or 17 years or I don't even know how, how long. So they're not always here. It's not always like this. But trust me, you'll be fine. Oh. All right, so let's get in this baby. I don't know if this is going to... I might have to start a new live video. Because I don't know if this is going to let me... Let me... 
Oh, balls. Yep, I got it. Oh, he would love it here. Um, Ezhang, um, you should come. Bring him here one year. Um, when the reenactments are. <gasps> what is that? Oh. Uh, when the reenactments are going on, they do such a good job. Well, the Gettysburg reenactment committee, they're not doing it anymore. Um, my friend Dustin is doing it, and hes I think it's going to be next year. Oh, snap. I need gas. All right. I'm going to start a new video for the drive out.